All right, looks like it's uh, all working now. I would very much appreciate if anyone could uh, tell me about the volume of my voice and of the game. And uh, if everything is fine on that end. But without further ado, let me just check if the stream is working all nice and dandy. And then we'll start uh, playing. Yeah, it looks like uh, all is good. Great news. Alright then. This is Opus Magnum, which is uh, yet another Zactronics. There are many of uh, many uh, games such as this one. But uh, this is the only Zactronics I've never played. And I wanted to do something uh, new. Try something out. Uh, this means I will most likely be stuck many times uh, throughout the game. You are allowed to. You are allowed to give me tips, but not the solution. Uh, yeah, that's about it. All right. So, access is restricted to graduate level chemical engineering students and faculty only. Keep your student alchemist permitted sigil with you at all times. The food and drink is permitted. Do not sit or lean, blah, 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 and keep it clean. If I understand it uh, properly, the idea of this is to make potions or maybe artifacts or something using machines. So I have to learn the transmutation engine. Let's go. Hmm. Oh yeah, new. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So these are reagents. And this is a product, it's a, like a molecule. Looks a whole lot uh, like a space cam so far. Which has this uh, reagent into uh, molecules thing. Just to complete the puzzle, I need to build all products. Pressing the play button will start the engine. And this is the instruction tray. Which I can use to tell these parts what we should be doing. Okay. How do I, um... I see. So I assume... I assume this uh, transformation. Yeah, okay, transforms in salt. So you grab, move twice, then reset, grab, uh, rotate twice, then reset, and they go into this glyph of bonding which bonds them together. Okay, I get it. Let's do it one more time just so I can see. Grabs it, puts it here, oh yeah, it's all good. But this one waits a bit and grabs, rotate, rotate, then extend it so it's gonna go down and reset. Okay. Just need for six products to be made, then it'll be all good. Now this, this is going to prove to be a very difficult game, I think. Alright, so I can add a, an arm. I 
and I can set it automatically. Just wanted to, to move it here. I need to rotate once, twice, three times. Will this work with the reset? Oh, I didn't grab, of course. And this is not reset, this is um Oh, I don't have reset on this one. This is grab. So you drop and you go back. There we go. We could make this look a bit um, preacher if you went up instead, but it doesn't change anything. Sounds a bit loud to me, so I'll lower the volume again. Do tell if it's uh, too much or not enough or whatever. Arms are pretty easy. Now pivots. Right. I see. I get it. Okay. I put an arm here. It will grab, uh, let's say, the salt. Go down. Want this to? I just want to see what it does if I add a Q here. Oh, of course, then I need it to pivot, uh, like, E, drop, and go back. Hence the requirement for pivot. Okay. Apparently my character is kind of a, kind of an ass. It's gonna regret this uh, when it gets harder. So a piston, you can push it through. It's extended. I have to retract it. Then move it, uh, what, twice? One, one, two, no, twice. Uh, then I have a reset. I do have a reset, nice. Alright, so far pretty easy. But that's just the lesson, so let's uh, hold all horses. And yeah, of course, reset costs as much as doing it uh, manually. It's just much easier to do uh, reset. Tracks. What are these like? Oh, it can follow a thing. Right, the arm will fall over track. So if I put an arm like this, just say grab, then go down the track with the plus. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Huh. Only three. No, four. Yeah, it's four. Then drop and reset. Oh, and the reset has been translated here. Interesting. Uh, 
and then transmutation. Yes, my character is kind of an ass. Uh, you are gonna regret this uh, very hard. So I'm gonna use a piston arm to grab this. Can I even reach this thing? Let's see, one, two, three. To extend it once more. I'll turn it like, let's see just uh, how much it goes like this. Can I even extend it this far? Let's see if it works. Just want to see how far we can go. I need to extend it at least twice more. But it's not extending. Oh, I can drop a glyph, of course. <laughs> how silly. I'll drop it here. So I just... Uh... No, not this. Can I remove these uh, easily? Apparently I can do this, yep, so that helps. Wait, I moved on the right of these. Ah, well, whatever. So, retract, then down, and reset. Okay. Simple as can be. The guy doesn't like me anymore. So yeah, I grab these once, twice. Let's go up on this one. Uh, no, it's F, Q, Q, C. It's F, D, D, C. Oh. Yes, they can't move uh, both, of course, so this one will do the job. This should do it. So they bound. Oh, one must drop it, of course. Hmm, it's the other arm, of course. I chose the wrong one. You grab it, turn it like this, something like that. That should do it. Oh, I turned it the wrong way. Just want to see how it ended up, but I think I have to turn it yeah, with E instead. Perfect. And now a real puzzle. So I can pan everywhere. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Give me everything now. So yeah, I need this. I have water. Somewhere, somehow, I'm gonna need 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need this to happen. This arm will do the job. Uh, yeah, like this. So I don't use a piston arm, saving some money already. And then I'm just gonna need another arm here to grab this and drop it here. So arm number two is pretty easy. Grab, do this, drop, and then reset at some point in the future. This arm is a bit harder. Grab, move once, cast them. Move another time. Well, will it uh, cast it? Yeah, okay, it works. Then, to move it once more, and just move um, the angle with A, and reset. Pretty compact, only 12 rear, which is one of the uh, things it checks. So, wow, Jake was faster. That hurts, but he used 80 gold instead of 60. My friend Halby was super good. Less area, less cycles, less cost. Let's see if I can make this better. In terms of cycle, we promise have one, two, three, four, five. I gave all of this designated to this guy. Would be neat if I have less uh, work for him to do. Could I do something like this then? So you move once, then you move twice, then you drop. So yeah, you have it here. Already we've reduced massively the cycles, but we've, uh, we did not make it work though. <laughs> yeah, we have to wait one cycle here. We'll make it better. Let's see. Let's just see how many cycles uh, this saves. Oh wait, it needs to be over way around. Let's see how many cycles we save just doing this. We do not save any area, which is surprising. I don't understand how they made it so uh, squished. We saved uh, five cycles. Nice. Don't save on the gold, but five cycles is a lot of money to save. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I, need, I want to do better once more. Do the regions actually cost money? Because we could do something like this. Uh, to see if we can save on the area instead of the cycle. Just want to try if it works. Not even sure you can do this. No, you cannot. Not like this at least. In any case, that's just like one of the first levels. So I don't want to spend too much. These are good enough. All right, chapter one. Damn, we've been appointed to the position of Eld Alchemist uh, first try. We are this good after all. We are this good. Uh, so, prepare to leave the academic life. Word of advice, politics city is more archer and dangerous than most of the academy. I'm singularly gifted. It would be a shame if we got uh, involved in these conflicts. Nadine Tolomeo, thank you very much.
And now Chase is mad. Oh god, almost spilled water on my keyboard. That would have been bad. Alright, time to do stuff. Alright, time to make gold instead of lead. Oh, interesting. The glyph of projection will allow me to bring lead up to gold. So, on it this. I'm gonna need quicksilver and lead to actually make gold. The arm will be here. Can then get up. And this guy will be here. This guy grabs, go this way, and then reset. This guy grabs, like this, and then waits an inordinate amount of time, which I don't know uh, how much. We'll see. Oh, wait, I uh, mixed those up. Oh, I have to count actually. Reset, grab, do it again. Oh, I can repeat instruction. And obviously this is not the right instruction. It's also not, not uh, close enough. Let's see, will this work? It goes to copper, goes to silver, I assume. Need one more. How about this? Copper, silver, uh, no. Would be nice to have an idea of the uh, chain. Yes, I know this, but I would like to... Oh, here it is. Pretty neat. So, yeah. Lead, tin, iron, copper, silver, gold. Just one more time then. Oh, okay, yeah, I see the problem. It should wait after this one. Should not repeat here. Should reset. Is that it? Yeah, it is. That seems hopefully inefficient, but uh, we'll see what the cycle is. Like how many cycles we, we use. That's a lot of mercury to use, though. A lot of mercury. Uh, this is actually in line with most people. But, uh, yeah, most of my friends have done better. Them of a re have used a very little, which is nice. Oh, I know an idea that will make it more efficient, though. So we repeat it one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. What's this? Oh, okay, it needs to be uh, staggered even more. How's this? <laughs> Obviously, it's not the uh, right order, right angle. 
Okay. That's one more rear, but uh, we've divided the cycles quite massively. More expensive, of course, though. So we have two arms. 94. A friend of mine made 893, but uh, I don't know how I did it. I'm not gonna find out. Not now. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I saved almost 50. And I uh, still have the uh, best area possible. And go, uh, 60 uh, cost, which is fine. Don't know how people go to like uh, 60 or 70 cycles, but there must be a way, right? Every single turn. Oh, of course, right. If you don't care about cost, then I guess you would uh, have an arm here. But to grab it. Would this work? Extend and move like this. Let's see if it works. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's rotate first, then extend. Not if it works, actually. It's gonna extend the wrong way. Like this, much better, much better. You extend, then grab, then retract. No, wait, you don't have to extend, you just grab, retract. And reset. Is it better? I'm not sure it's doing what I wanted it to. Yeah, it, it has to be better. This save cycles. 90, pretty good. I want to see if I can drop the one or two cycles I need to go to the best possible. Let's see. Well, this one. I get to restart it before that, actually. Yep, we just saved a cycle or two. But actually, there's no reason for it to uh, reset uh, that that late. But it's even better. Eighty cycles, and it's not the best yet. But it's got to be doable. So yeah, we're going to reset it uh, as soon as it's done, basically. No reason to wait. I don't think it's going to change anything, but... Uh, as expected. Oh, for this guy, what if... I did this one. It's like in preparation, you have an atom of uh, Quicksilver already there. But it's gonna move at the same time. I want it to start again as soon as this one retracts. That makes sense. I wanted to do it right now. Like, move back in. Grab here and uh, why do this? Let's just uh, trade it. Oh, of course, it's gonna restart this loop. Can I move this like this? Or is it too early? Can, but uh, this part still doesn't work. Let's uh, remove that for now. So, still gonna do the 80, I'm pretty sure. Seventy-nine. 
I saved one by doing this. Pretty good. Uh, and again, yeah, I'll reset before that. No reason to be so late for the reset. Why doesn't it work if I do this like this? I just want to see why uh, this doesn't work again. Oh, because it gets grabbed and moved. Yeah, okay, I get it. Actually, these two instructions are useless. Let's remove them for less overhead. I can actually do it before that. As soon as it's dropped, I can lift it up. Does it save me one cycle, maybe? It saved me quite a few. 73. I believe that's the best we're gonna get uh, for for now, in terms of cycles. And I believe we've already gotten the uh, two other things we wanted. If I go back to uh, to the results, what were they? Uh, gold may be better. Cycles is perfect and area is perfect. I'll do the gold uh, later on. Alright, that was fun. Let's go for more difficult stuff now. So we want to make face powder for the lady. Elemental Earth. The product is this. Let's go for the uh, low resolution first. So bounding will be necessary. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. I want to make a low um, a resolution first. It's gonna be bad for everything else, but a re it'll be fine. So we grab this, retract, put it there. Oh, yeah, we can't even put it here if I do it like this. What about the... Push it for retract, retract. I'll just try it for for science. So two grabs, extends. Well, want it to collide? We'll see. Extends then retract, retract. So on weight, grabs, moves up and drop. Want to see if it no, it actually collides. All right. Again, this is the area solution, so inefficient uh, for everything else. So we grab it, move it uh, this way. D, retract, and drop. Both drop it. This guy should not be dropping it. Should be. Uh, moving Q once more, and I think it's E on this case. Yeah, it is. Oh, and reset. It's 
So it's 13 arrear. How does arrear work? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How does arrear is calculated? Not good at all. Very poor if I say so myself. Right, so area solution first. That's what I want to, that's what I want. Product and regent, I'm gonna need one calcify glyph. Oh, it's useful, it's like comments. Oh, interesting. One, two, drop. Hmm. Right, I. It's not an easy solution to find. I want to test something out. If it goes all this way, does it count this as an area? If so, it's kind of a problem. I'll try one of the most inefficient way to do stuff. But so one is one, two, three, four, five. All right, it's not gonna bound. I just uh, need to check if it works. Yeah, it counts it as the area. Everything it, it uh, goes through. So to minimize area, you need to minimize movement as well. Maybe a track is a good idea here. Can have one arm here. I'm already uh, claiming way too much area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, eight. Okay. Not good. How do, how do I make this work? How do I make this one work? I'm gonna need a glyph of bonding and a calcifying glyph. It is one, two, three, four, five, six. How do people do seven? Only one arm, I assume. Is it along the sign of a pivot arm then? Most likely. So it can extend to places. Drop it here. Does it make it any easier if I do this? Not at all. Does this make it any easier? Kinda. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Minimum area possible. It's impossible to do less. You grab this one, you rotate twice. One, two, one, two, three, three time. And once you drop. Grab it once. Let's see how it goes. And then you push. Just push and reset. That should do the minimal area. Yeah, it does. It works. Perfect. All right, that's one down. Now, costs and cycles. Impossible to do better, area-wise. 
since uh, you need all of these pieces. So you can do about 40 cycles. Interesting. Not surprising though. You only have one reagent. Can't be wasting time with this one. I want to test something out. Um, this all goes away. Grab, extend, and turn. Does it work? No, it's not gonna collide with this. Then retract. Drop, retract. Interesting. Cycle wise, this looks pretty good. What you can do is wait one turn, two turn, grab, uh, go like this, then push. Reset. Does this work? Pretty efficient, but not good enough. Want to drop this to um, sub forty five at least. Can I improve on this solution here? Maybe I can actually. What if this one waits here? And it uh, doesn't do this whole thing. It's not like this. This one grabs. Goes like this. Drop. Goes like this. Grabs. Goes like... Something like this. Uh, this one will have to uh, be this so it might be a bit short uh, timing wise wait what oh, this one needs to grab then when it's dropped uh, just need to reset It's actually worse, way worse. I expect it to be more efficient since I saved while this one was doing all the round. Uh, this one was at least helping doing the salt. The round is just not good at all. Since there's two uh, wasted cycles here, not surprising, honestly. All right, so let's think about it more seriously. This one can just push. Drop, go back, put it here, rotate, maybe something like this, could be interesting. So, grab, push, drop, grab, one, two, three, drop, this one, tracks, grab, Something like this. Uh, oh, I missed. I mixed them up. I believe I have mixed them up. And just need to tilt them back with an A. Then reset, reset. 
I'm not sure it's gonna be good at all, but uh, I just want to see how good it is. Oh, bad rather. Awful. It might actually, like the solution might uh, be around this. Number two does not a lot. What if instead of doing this, it just reset here. Instead of dropping, you extend. Like what does it look like when you extend? It's no good. Just uh, for science, what if uh, you moved one more? Yeah, it's it's awful. This is not the solution at all. And this uh, thing uh, is not the solution, I believe. Part of the solution is the idea of these two guys grabbing it ASAP. You grab one, two, three, drop. So, grab. Eight cycles for this. Eight cycle per eight times six. It could be interesting. Two, we'll have to wait one turn. Uh, too early, right? Yep. And yank it this way. Extend, extend. Oh, and reset. Ah, oh, that reset is gonna kill me for sure. For the sixth, though, for the seven. All right, let's uh, let's accept this one as fine. Now I want to do the uh, cheap solution, which is forty apparently, since everyone has been doing it with forty. Forty means these two arms go away, and we just use one cheap O arm. Yeah, that's it. Not really complex, it's just going to take a super long while. Grab, doom, 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 doom. One, two, three. One, two, maybe. Yeah, that's it. All right, that's 40 gold. Pretty easy solution, this one. The fact that you need both of these guys do tell you only you can only use one arm and that's it. And that's about it. I won't try the 41 solution. It's 47, it's fine for me. Waterproof sealant. Whoa. Interesting. I'm gonna need this product, which is elemental water and elemental air. gonna need this guy for this job yeah that should be good if I have a piston arm like this yeah it all extended properly I'm gonna do the area solution first, as is custom. One, two, three, yeah, that's probably the best solution I can come up with. 
it's gonna be ugly cycle wise but uh, that's how it is one two three one two three four It's going to use one uh, user space here. If I move it here first, it's going to use one user space. Let's see if it's uh, still good. Just got to try it out. Oh, of course. That is a problem. So I'm going to use this space anyway. So grab. One, two, three, drop it. should do it. We drop the water first, then we drop the air. Uh, the air first, then the water. Oh, yeah, and we need to uh, finish this, of course. Alright, so a real solution, does it work? 11. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we can do with 10, but... Uh, can we do with 10? I'm certain. In any case, that'll do for 11 at least. It's a pretty good solution. Alright, so technically it is doable with 10 and even with 9. I don't know how, but... Alright. But uh, 11 is good enough. It's uh, the best on my friend list. This is also the cheapest solution, funnily enough, because you only use uh, one piston arm. Now cycle time, 58, seems to be a very good, like 60, let's go 60 is the goal. Let's think about it. There's going to be an arm here, it's going to do this. And it's actually going to be its only job. At some point, it's gonna grab, extend, move, and that's it. It's very efficient to do it like this. Oh, it's a uh, number two's job. Maybe the fact that we have to drop is no good. No, it'll help the other arms get back into order. Anyway, first though, the guy to do the uh, moving of things. This guy may actually go back and do something before he does that, but um, actually, yes, he will. Yeah, he will. We'll actually start here, grab, move twice up, and just wait there before it does this. Well, this guy is gonna grab and push. Oh, that would be even smarter. You wait here. So it's gonna grab, push, then reset. 
drop extend. It'll do that another time. And reset. And this is just a guy that's gonna do uh, this up here. Grab, move, and then reset. Oh, yeah. It'd be good if it actually uh, put it at the right place. Oh no, of course. Numero one. Have to wait until you do that. Oh, you don't need this one. And this will be a Q instead. No, a D instead. Which reduces uh, the time it gets. It's perfect. Look at this. Oh, yeah, this one just can't be here. That's no problem, though. It's literally a no, no, no problem. Just change it here and that's it. Problem solved. I don't know if it's the best solution, but it's a pretty fine solution. I say so myself. It's 60. I did say it's 61. I did say 60. Yeah, and it's 3 a.m. Ah, we'll, we'll be satisfied with this. I I actually want to uh, record a gif of, of this one. I like how it goes. I like making gifs of stuff. Nice. I should save uh, gifs of uh, very efficient solutions. Which one was this? Oh yeah, this solution is cool. I'm gonna record a gif of this one too. It's a shame I can't go straight to the uh, recording uh, thing to go through all of this. Alright. Great. Three more. <sighs> and then I'm gonna go to bed. Alright, a cure for the hangover. Salt, salt and water. I can uh, let's do area first as is tradition. This thing is super annoying. Can't make it very efficient. How far can the piston extend again? Aha, pretty good. Of course, um, that's gonna waste uh, area in itself. But I can try making it work. So let's say I have water here. I can move it. Yeah, I can't do it all from here, of course, which would help for pushing in, but um, let's think about it carefully. Salt. Uh, yeah. Drop it. Drop it. One wasted. Uh, let's see if, how it goes. Grab, move. Once, twice, three times. Extend and drop, retract. Q, 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 grab D. D. Drop, Q, Q. I 
just want to see how it goes. Is it even possible from that angle to reach this one? No, but I could, instead of doing this, so I'm here. I drop it, go up, grab it, extend, see how it goes like this. Perfect. Oh, yeah. That's it. All right, so that's an area of 11, I believe. Since I waste one here, sadly it's uh, really hard not to waste it. Can I actually use two double bonds? No, 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 it wouldn't work. Could I? I don't know. Okay, it's a very cheap solution and extremely low area. I've beaten all of my steam friend by a long stretch. Jeez, 28 every and 195 cycle check, that is no good. Halby, which was very good so far, has a struggle on this one as well. Alright, so I'm actually gonna make another solution so I can keep this one. Which, what it is what I should have done, uh, so rename to a Rhea solution. And this one will be cycles. I might need two calcination. How was it I did it on the area one? So I could just push it through. Uh, something like this, but I don't remember the precise orientation. In any case. Gonna need two salt, I believe. Just so I can make the molecule faster. Water is just one of it. It's no, not great. So yeah, I'm thinking something like this. Right, it was for pushing with piston that I did it. How did it work? I actually need to consult with the, uh, well, it's safe to my desktop here. Uh, angle of a cure. Ah, uh, right, that was smart of me, like this. That is probably the play, actually. But of course, it means I can't do this. What well, will probably have to be here. It can't be pushed through. But something like this can exist. I can do, uh, grab it from here to push the molecule through. Which is probably what I should, will do. So while one resets, while, while, while the other resets, this one finishes the deal. Actually, I will do this. Grab, extend, and drop. So this guy takes care of uh, finishing the finishing the job. If I had a piston here, it can't go here. How would I do this intelligently? Would what I want even be possible?
I was thinking something like this. One guy takes the water, retracts it. This one does this while this one goes back. I think the water there is going to prevent me doing anything from since I can't get it out this way. It's too complex. If it's too complex, it probably means I'm doing something wrong. Can't bring it here, otherwise it's going to bond. What if I made it the other way around? Like this. It'd be dumb to put the water here. So it just pushes it. Yeah, I can't go through like this. This dumb. This way it's not. This way is not at all. Extends once, twice. Let's start with this one. Grab, extend, extend, stop. Grab once. Drop. Grab. I only have one region, right? Yep. Yeah, of course, of course. Does this work like this? No. It has to be this way. Sucks, but it has to. Feels like I'm wasting a cycle, but uh, now can this third guy do anything? Maybe one of these guys should not move. Maybe uh, it's guy number one. So let's say you have a molecule, you're here can go fair with it and yeah sounds good as soon as this one drops it you move once like this and you do this oh yeah of course and this uh, place like this this kills my cycles let's see if it works at least yeah, it's not efficient since one starts, everyone waits for him. So maybe it's two that has to. So two is like this. It has a molecule here. Where can it go? And go there. Molecule like this. So yeah, what if you did it? I'll just restart whenever you want. Seems hopefully inefficient, but uh, we'll see how it works. At least one is able to start, more or less. S that is excellent, actually. It's quite excellent. The record seems to be lower than this, but I'm beating everyone in my friend list. I'm pretty happy about it. Let's uh, record the GIF and see if I can make it better. The problem is it takes an extremely long time to go back. What if I get a guy specifically for the moving of a molecule? While everyone gets back, could have someone be, I don't know, like 
here. Just, you know, grab it back. That could work. As soon as this one is done, grab, retract, retract. Will everyone wait for him though? It's very good, very efficient sims. 51, saved 8 cycles. I think that's good enough. Now it's time for cost. Again with cost, there's something very useful. You know how much you can spend. Just keeping the obvious. Uh, yeah, I'd like to know how someone spent 40 gold when having this and this cost 40. Maybe I can do with this though. I have to try, I guess. So, what if I grab this? So I have this part of a molecule, but I want the salt. Let's actually do it the other way around. Uh, I'll have water. So yeah, I have water and s God, I have no idea how I'm gonna make this work, but uh, we'll see. It has to work somehow. Then I can go. Yeah, I think that's it. I grab it. Uh, I still have it, actually. So I move it here, drop it. Then go one, two, three, grab one. Shit. This will get in the way. Starts getting the way. I can't go back up either. Damn, but it's pretty hard. Just because I'm running out of space. Funnily enough, that is space the problem. Might need to have a salt up there. I grab water, drop it here, grab water, drop it here, grab salt, grab water, drop it here, grab salt, drop it there, grab this, move it here, yeah I think that's it. So I'm gonna put water on the right. right. Getting here. Bring. Right. Uh, one, two, three, four. Drop, I think. Yeah, okay. I go back to water. Grab it. Turn it into salt. Oh, but I can't go back.
Now then, now then. Water, put it here. Salt, put it there. Should this has to be something along these lines. Damn, this one is not easy. So I grab water, drop it here, grab salt, put it there. Grab this, I move it here, add the salt, okay. One, two, drop, go back. Grab one, two, three. Back, drop it. What does it look like? Uh, incorrect. Uh, these are reversed. That's gonna be an issue. But for now. Let's ignore that issue. No, it's not avoidable. Gonna need salt too. So this one is blocking my path. Just want to see if at least my plan is feasible at all. For this, I'll do this. See if it actually uh, works. It does work. That's pretty good. Water, water. Make salt, drop it here, push, take, no, I can't, make salt, drop it there, water, water, push the water out, Then I don't have access to my salt anymore. How do I make it work? Damn, this one is really hard. More harder than I would have expected to be. Much harder. Much, much, much harder. The idea revolves on using this calcification uh, glyph much more intelligently than I've been using it for now. As in, water, water, I can drop it here. This is the problem, the fact that I can't uh, move anything I want here. Get how I'm supposed to be working for this one. Let's think about it. I can't extend much, but I could use this to have more room. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. So as many tiles, but I can space them out, giving me more space. It's actually quite a good idea to do. Don't know if it does anything, but it gives me more breathing room to think. No, it's no good. I won't be able to use this properly. I have to be close, but how? I 
I can't put it like this. Otherwise, everything I bring goes out of the salt to do the whole loop around. Two water. One here this becomes water and salt. And I can't uh, grab more salt from more water. Move it back here. Think about it. Means I have salt, water, water. Then what? It's not like I can move it back here because of this. It's in the way. It has to be somewhere there. Move like this, like this. Move it here. Water, salt. <laughs> and I can't use anything else. I've been. Uh, I spent all the money I am able to on this one. I'll think about how to drop it afterwards. I just want to actually make the molecule. Water, water, move it here. Water and salt bonded. Get the water. I got water, water, salt. Can't move it back here, it's water, salt, salt, which is not a good molecule. And I can't move it uh, this way anyway, because the water is on the way. Salt and water. Oh, it has to do with pivots. That's it. Let's think about it. So I grab the water. I go one, two, three, drop it. One, two, three. Yeah, orientation's okay. Grab it. One, two. I got my molecule. I keep. Keep it going. So, one, two. I just want to uh, turn it around, see how it goes. That is it. Pivots are the answer to, to this uh, conundrum. So, I can get. Uh, Molecule I like here. So, yeah, I do this. This way I have that molecule here. I'm gonna turn it uh, probably twice and go back here and drop it. Then uh, go back to get some water. Uh, yeah, wrong orientation, but it's this one I want. Uh, one too many t uh, times here, I believe. Okay, so when I turn it, maybe like this. Oh wait, I forgot to actually grab the goddamn thing. Drop one, two, three. Grab the goddamn thing. Go back one, two, ee, e. one, two, like this. Yeah. Okay, we have a molecule. It's it's made. And we just have to actually place it somewhere.
And the answer has been staring us in the face. Here it is. Pivots, of course. Of course, they have to come in useful at some point, right? Oh yeah, of course, since uh, we turn the thing. It has a different orientation when it goes here. Or just to accommodate it, I think like this should be good. Damn, pivots are hard, dude. Pivots are hard. But we've done it. Only 40 gold. Sure, it took me so long and uh, it's, it's pretty psycho intensive, but uh, it works. Jeez. 190 cycles, but it's pretty bad. But that's only 40 gold. I'm pretty proud of myself. Now it's 3.30 a.m. and I did say I was gonna... Oh fuck, that was my cycle solution. Oh, it's the cot solution. The actually interesting one. Cycle one ain't great. Uh... I said I would do uh, the two of them. I might actually just do one. Maybe even just look at the one and abandon here. It's getting super late. All right, I need to make fuel. I could actually use the, uh, the multiple arms thing to do great things at once. <laughs> With trucks too. Actually, I want to use the tracks. So let's see if I can make it work interestingly. Uh, just so I know how it works exactly, if I go up like this. Yeah, okay. That is what I expected it to do. Grab all three. I'll make a um, cycle solution first. This takes care of the salt. It's most likely better to do it like this with a guy like that. For the salt uh, taking. Just want to see uh, how I can go without having to think too much. Oh, that is quite the disappointing part. Can't rotate this, sir. Just want to see how it rotates, but probably not at all as I want it to. How disappointing. So, do multiple arms work on the same track? I'm interesting, interested in knowing that. 
uh, g and g oh, wait. grab grab plus plus we could both turn and do a thing This one is going to be super silly, it's a solution. I'm warning you. This one just grabs, push, drops. These two needs to move, uh, needs to move like this. So needs to move like that. And Oh, it's not the correct orientation. Well, yeah, it needs to go like this. Probably inefficient to use a track. I like it because it's funny, but. Uh, Probably the worst, uh, worst idea efficiency wise. I use a piston here, retracted, grabs. As for numero uno. Grab, you turn, yeah, that's it. Why don't you do it? Oh, you do. Instead of doing this, you actually retract. And yeah, just a calcination problem here. Which you make salt. Five is grab, uh, right, right, let's see. This solution doesn't work just because of a space problem. Like, look at this. Yeah, it doesn't work. It collides everywhere. Not great. Could make it a bit uh, longer. It would work, probably. Calcination uh, should just be there instead. It's uh, not gonna be a problem, but uh, you can't get it out. But it's kind of a false problem, honestly. Let's do that and arm, do this instead. Grab and do this and go back. Actually, this might actually work as a solution. Do you actually design the molecule properly? Looks like I... Looks like I... I as I did not, but I might have. I have, wow, impressive. What about uh, three does this, huh?
No, I think it's backwards. Look at this. It is backwards. Mirrored, rather. And uh, this con gets mirrored. I thought it could. I honestly did think it could. Which is why I built it this way. This one has to be I hop and this one could down. Well, it is uh, getting very late. Should I do this one or not? Probably shouldn't. Let's think quickly. So, yeah, this one I would have to go here. This one would have to be there instead. It's not that hard to deal with, is it? Let's try it out. Just uh, do a little attempt. Yeah, fire one goes like this. Whatever way you actually do this, and then it gets pushed down, pulled up, or whatever. Interesting to have it on a, on a track, this one. That's here. What it does is pretty simple. Grabs, then it's plus plus time. Just want to see how it goes. Yeah, it does, uh, it does the work. And five would just uh, grab, drop it. Okay, number two on your track can go away. Need to push the salt up there. And another guy just need to do exactly the same here. I'm gonna use piston for this one just because they're pretty cool. I do exactly the same. If this guy was a piston, could do cool stuff. So the molecule arrives here, it's all cool and dandy. But if I had a guy here to just put it to me, grab it, stand it, and you retract. All right, it's pretty fun. Pretty nice one. It's super efficient too. Wow, 38 cycles. I did not expect it to be that good. Especially if it's good uh, according to the uh, rankings. It's super expensive, obviously, but it's super dense. Only 22. Uh, I'm not gonna make a cheap option today. I'm getting too tired. But thank you for watching this. If uh, if there is anyone at this uh, late an hour. This was Opus Magnum. I'll uh, stream more of this. <sighs> Probably in the week. I don't know yet. It's... Uh, I'll decide later on. Alright. Cheers.